Hello, and welcome to the Gifted Student Service Plan GSSP training. My name is Kathy Anderson, and I am the Gifted Education Program Consultant for the Kentucky Department of Education. Today, I'm going to give you uh, some instructions about how to use the new GSSP. Here is an overview of what we'll be talking about today. First, we'll go through an introduction, directions, and a due date. Then we'll talk about creating a GSSP. Then we'll look at the GSSP portal settings report. Next, we'll look at the GSSP portal options update tool. Then we'll talk about transferring the GT record and GSSP. And then we'll finally look at the parent and student portal. The Office of Special Education and Early Learning, OSEAL, has been working with the Office of Education Technology, OET, and Infinite Campus, IC, to create a new GSSP that auto-populates from the GT student record. Before we get too far into the new GSSP, let me remind you that to use the new tools, the Kentucky Student Information System, CASIS, contact, will need to give rights or permissions to use the new tools. So next I'm going to review the new GSSP features. The new GSSP auto populates from the service delivery options marked in a student's gifted and talented record. Comments can be added to the GT record and will show on the GSSP. GSSP transfers with a student and is imported through the record transfers process. A report can be generated to show which students are in the GSSP portal. The portal update tool for the GSSP will turn on portal access by school and grade level. So on this slide and the next slide are the items we would like for you to test. I will be explaining throughout the presentation how the new tools works work so that you can use the test so you can use them to test the GSSP and then give feedback. You will also receive a copy of the expectations in a separate document for your convenience. So in order to test the GSSP, please use the district staging site to test the GSSP. We would like for you to create a total of 10 gifted student service plans that include students at each of the three levels, elementary, middle, and high school. So just to review, you don't need to create 10 elementary, 10 middle, and high school, and 10 high school GSSPs. We want you to create a total of 10 using elementary, middle, and high school students. Each of the plans should include auto-populated comments from the GT record. So of course, in order to have auto-populated comments, you have to type in some comments on the GT student record. Check to ensure the GSSP can be viewed in the Documents tab, and we'll talk about how to do that. Verify the GSSP can be locked and unlocked. Generate the GSSP portal report to see which students have the show in portal checkbox selected to confirm the GSSP can be seen in the portal. Use the show in portal update tool to change the show in portal checkbox on five GT student records. I'm going to continue on with the directions for testing here on this slide. So number eight. After updating the show and portal checkbox, generate the GSSP portal report to ensure the show and portal checkbox updated correctly and open the GT student records to confirm the show and portal checkbox updated correctly. Then create a transfer student in Infinite Campus. Import the GT record and gifted student service plan for the GT transfer student. Update and change the services on the transfer student's GT record. Then repeat steps one through six from the previous slide for the transfer student. Finally, 
view GSSPs from five district students and one transfer student from the parent portal. Here is the due date and the survey for the pilot feedback. Testing and the pilot feedback are due April the 14th. Use the QR code on this slide or link to the GSSP feed feedback form to, to provide feedback. Let's first talk about creating the Gifted Student Service Plan. To create a Gifted Student Service Plan for a newly identified student, you need to find the student in Infinite Campus and create a GT record for the new GT student according to the directions in the GT data standards. The GSSP will be created from the service delivery options selected in the GT record. From the student's record, click Gifted Student Service Plan. Select either Save to Documents or Print. If you click, collect, click uh, Save to Documents, this saves the GSSP under the Documents tab. If you select Print, this allows a document to be viewed, saved, or printed. Let's next talk about how to view the GSSP. To view the GSSP, click Documents. Then select the GSSP that you want to view. A URL link will appear at the bottom of the screen. Click the link or arrow to download the GSSP. A text box with a PDF of the GSSP will appear in the left corner of the screen. Click the text box to open the GSSP. This is what the new GSSP looks like. So as you can see, it's got the student school. It says gifted student services plan. It has uh, some student demographic information. It then has the gifted and talent, talented student status, which has uh, when the student was identified, uh, the gifted category, if they've declined services, and then underneath that, the service delivery options for each of the categories the student is identified in. And then at the very bottom, there will be the comments. And of course, as stated previously, these come from the GT student record. Let's talk about preparing the gifted student service plan for the portal. If the GSSP is ready to view in the portal, lock the GSSP and check the show in portal box. If the GSSP is not ready to view, return to the student's GT record and update the record. Let's talk about creating a GSSP for a student who transfers to your district. Open the student's GT record and review the service delivery options. If needed, update the service delivery options. If desired, add comments to the record. Finally, follow the directions for creating a GSSP for a newly identified student. Let's ne next talk about the Gifted Student Service Plan Portal Settings Report. This report is used to show which students can be seen by parents in the portal. So, to view the report, follow this click path. Index, then Portal, then Reports then GSSP Portal Settings Report. Under Show in Portal, select either blank, yes, or no. The blank shows the status of all gifted student service plans. Yes shows all the GSSPs that are turned on or will show in the portal. No 
shows all the GSSPs that are not turned on and will not show in the portal. After selecting all extract options, choose the calendars to include in the report. Then choose the schools to be included. Select control clicked, click or shift click to select multiple schools. Finally, click the generate extract to create the report. Let's next talk about the GSSP portal options update tool. This tool allows the user to enable or disable the portal checkbox for the GSSP. To access the tool, follow this click path. Index, System Administration, Portal, GSSP Portal Options Update Tool. Next, we'll review how to set the options for the GSSP Portal Options Update Tool. Once show-in portal updates are made, you may want to generate a new GSSP portal settings report to ensure the correct portal settings are correct. So let's go over the directions for how to use the portal update tool directions. In the tool under select calendars, choose a calendar to include in the report. Under select calendars, choose the schools for updating the show and portal checkbox on the GSSP. Under options, select the grade to update the show and portal checkbox for the GSSPs. Next, under select batch update mode, choose either to enable or disable portal document. Click update gifted and talented settings to change the show and portal checkboxes on the GSSPs selected. Next, let's talk about transferring the GT record and gifted student service plan. Before transferring a student's GSSP, you should transfer the student's GT record. The GT record will show the service delivery options chosen from the previous district. These options should be reviewed and discussed by the GT Selection and Placement Committee. The committee may choose to provide different services from the prior district. The service delivery options selected in the student's GT record will be the services generated on the student's GSSP. Therefore, ensure these are the services to be provided before notifying the parent and displaying in the portal. So let's go over some directions for transferring a student's record. Staff with student record transfer rights will receive notice through Infinite Campus when a student has transferred to the district. Before transferring the student's the student's GSSP, import the student's GT record. You will need the student's GT record to review the st student's service delivery options and to create a new GSSP for the student. To import student records, follow the directions in the student record transfer data standard or watch the records transfer data video. Section B of the data standards gives specific directions for the GT student record. Let's next talk about importing the gifted student service plan document. First, find the student in Infinite Campus under the search tab. Then follow this click path, records transfer, gifted documents import wizard. You'll see it's above the, the Kentucky import um, student report wizard. The GSSP will be saved automatically in the student's GT record under the documents tab. 
Let's finally talk about the parent and student portal. Parents can view the GSSP through the Infinite Campus portal. In order for parents to use the portal to see their students GSSP, they will use this click path that you see on the left hand side of the screen. They'll go to Documents, Gifted and Talented, GSSP. Below are screenshots of the portal and the parent view of the GSSP. Please remember, in order for the GSSP to be seen, the GSSP must be locked. I hope that this has helped you understand how to create the new Gifted Service Plan and other wonderful tools in Infinite Campus created for the new GSSP. If you have any questions, please contact me, Kathy Anderson. There is my email and there is my phone. I'm always glad to help. Thank you so much.